Hi, I'm Dylan Pollock, Dryland Automation Engineer. A frequently asked question we get is how we tension our belt drives. Today, I'm going to show you how to do so. So, as you can see here, belt drive is very much untensioned. Um, the first thing you need to do is remove the rubber stoppers here. There's two at the end block here. And your next step would be to remove this plate on the end of the end block. So this gives you access to the set screws in here and then the tension screws in here. In order to tension this, the most important thing you need to keep in mind is that each of these screws need to be turned an even amount. So if this one turns one rotation, each one also has to turn one rotation. What I have already done is set them all back so that they're in their starting position as seen here. The goal of tensioning the belt drive is to make these push the gear itself away from the belt creating tension. So what you want to do is make sure that each of these gets pushed away the even amount so that it can push away the belt itself, creating more tension. And now we're just going to do the same thing here that was done on the demo. one rotation. Now checking the belt, you can see that there's a lot more tension on it. This is because we have increased the distance between each of these screws out from its the end block here, creating a distance between the gear and the actual table itself, creating more tension. So next, we're gonna find out the actual tension of the belt and make sure that it is within tolerance according to our catalog values. Um, we are using a true meter in order to figure that out. Our first step would be to put in the mass and this is a predefined value that we have listed. For this table specifically with this belt, we are gonna get a value of 0 0.038 kilograms per meter. In order to find out its span or length, we want to measure from the middle of the end block all the way to the end of the carriage here, making sure that the carriage is all the way against the other end. So we put those two values into our true meter and we're ready to tension it. First thing you want to do is get it about an inch or so away from the belt and give it a pluck. This will give you a value right here. We're getting about 97 newtons and we need 190 newtons. So you can see that it's very off. So since our belt did not get the proper tensioning values, we're gonna to have to re-tension it by adjusting the screws again. So we just re-tensioned it by re-tightening the screws on here, and now we're gonna check the values again. Yep, so that's giving us a value between about two, 210 newtons, and that's right within our tolerance of 190 with a 25% tolerance. So now that this is all tensioned all right, you just wanna go in here, refasten those set screws. Throw the plate back on. get your rubber stoppers back in. And by following those instructions, you've just tensioned a ZLW linear actuator. For more information, you can go to our website or click on the link in the description below.